Hey everyone. So it's been a while since I've posted any updates on my acrylic DML panels, mostly because I was just waiting for drivers to arrive and things like that. So as you can see, they've arrived. So I thought I'd just throw up a quick video. Um, this is very much first impressions and um, an update. They're not really finished because uh, they're not, but they are to the point where they're functional and I can put them in the room and just have a listen, do some measurements and sort of see how they compare to you know, my expectations and my other panels as well. So today I thought I'd just um, play a little bit of music, give a few brief impressions of the sound and then I'm going to do a comparison with my bamboo free hanging panels. So I'll play a bit of music through both and then do a frequency response measurement of each uh, just so you can see how they stack up. Okay, let's do it.
All right, so hopefully that gives you a little bit of an idea of what these actually sound like. Uh, hopefully in that last one at least you can hear that there is actually a decent amount of mid-bass uh, coming out of these panels. The problem is it still doesn't really play low enough to give you that real weighty kind of oomph that, um, that this kind of music really wants. So let's just move on now. Uh, I'm going to put the bamboo on one side and the acrylic on the other side and we'll just switch between. Um, and then I'll do a couple of measurements of both and that'll be a wrap. Okay, I'll start this next one playing um, both speakers and then I'm just going to play with the balance knob just to get full left and full, full whatever, full right and full left um, a couple of times just so you can see, uh, hopefully you can hear through the recording um, how the different panels sound. Hope you could hear some difference there. Uh, from what I could hear, the bamboo gives still a bit of a more richer sound. Definitely there's more kind of more going on in the lower frequencies on this panel, um, whereas the acrylic panel has more clarity. It definitely has more top end, but I just feel like the kind of the clarity is better right through the range. It just doesn't have the same uh, low end kind of warmth as the bamboo and that's kind of expected I guess um, at least just because it's wood it's natural it's warm it kind of feels like it should be that way that's probably not how it works but there it is uh, now let's back it up with some measurements and see if what uh, what we're hearing or what I'm hearing is actually happening Welcome to my slightly ghetto, slightly uh, improvised measuring setup. So I've got the mic at one meter from the panel and on axis, and I've got the panel against an open window. So obviously trying to get as much of that back wave out into the open air as possible to minimize reflections. Uh, the rest of the room is very echoey. I know you can hear it in my voice. Um, there's not a lot I can do about it. We just moved into this place recently and don't really have many furnishings and things like that. I am going to be doing some treatment in here and I'll cover that in another video because I've got some, uh, hopefully some pretty good ideas about that. But for now, this is the best I can do. Keep it simple. I'll just do a full sweep of the acrylic panel and then I'll plug in the bamboo panel in the same spot and take the same measurement and we'll see how they compare.
Okay, I've loaded both measurements into REW and applied 1 12th of an octave of smoothing for clarity. As I mentioned in the previous video, I'm mostly interested in the response above about 100 to 150 hertz, as I do plan to incorporate a subwoofer into this setup and it'll be crossed over at about that frequency. So in this comparison, red is the rigidly mounted acrylic panel and green is my free hanging bamboo panel. Other than the obvious differences in construction and materials, it's worth noting that these panels are also driven by different model exciters. The bamboo uses the 40 watt Dayton Audio Thruster model, while the acrylic uses Dayton's 40 watt steered flux model. So just know there are quite a few variables going on here. Okay, so right off the bat, it looks like the bamboo has a slightly higher SPL overall. I'm not surprised by this, as I have always assumed that the rigid panel fitment would have an effect on SPL. Neither panel is doing much of anything below 100 Hz, and they both only really flatten out from above about 250. After that, they're both pretty flat, remaining within 10 decibels right through to the mids and into the high frequencies. As I detected in the music earlier, the red acrylic does overtake the bamboo in the high end. It has more going on between about 4K and 10K, at which point it does actually flip back to the bamboo being stronger. I think this is what leads to that sense of clarity that I was getting from the acrylic that wasn't really there in the bamboo. Overall, I'd say actually that they both perform exactly how they sounded in my listening test, with the bamboo giving a bit more in the low and mid range, and then more noticeable highs coming from the acrylic. And I've got to say, I think I slightly prefer the acrylic sound in this case. Of course, this is just a quick preliminary test, and I've got some more tweaking to do on the acrylic panel as well. It would also be interesting to discover which effects are due to the construction, which are due to panel material, and which driver selection. I guess I have some testing to do. Anyway, that's all I have for today. Thanks very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe if this somehow interests you. See you next time.